there's a state record. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, guys? Joe Holland here, back on the ice fishing trail. We're going to shoot a little bit different video today than you've ever seen in the state of Maine. We're going to catch something that you rarely see. There's not many places they exist. We're going to catch some rock bass. Yes, there are rock bass in Maine. I've only caught them in one place in the entire state, and that's in the Androscoggin River. That's where I am today. I've caught them out of state uh, through New York. Uh, Champlain's got a bunch of them. A lot of places have a bunch of them. It's kind of looked upon as a little bit of a trash fish, but I'm going to target them. I've been, I've been looking for them for the last maybe hour. They're schooled up with, uh, with some crappy and I found the mega school of rock bass. It's probably the biggest school of rock bass in the entire state, if you can believe that. And what it is, is it's just off of a big sand hump outside of the current where it drops from about eight foot down to 20. You can't tell it's 20 foot deep on the electronics because they are so thick. They're up to about 14, 13 foot. And you can't even see your baits when you get it down there. So I'm gonna get set up here. I'm gonna catch a bunch. We're gonna bring some home and have a little catch and cook for some friends of mine who like to eat. They like to eat bass. So I'm gonna get them hooked on rock bass instead. There's a bunch of crappy mixed in. So I've been switching up baits, trying to get down, trying to figure out the depth because there's about six foot of this school high. I don't know how big a round it is. I've drilled holes. I got holes about 20 foot around me and I haven't seen many. So we're kind of right on top of them here crappy mixed in with them are really small. Whoa, there's a big old rock bass. Look at the size of these rock bass. Another rock bass. Good, how's it going with you? 
I'm so glad you showed up. Huh? I'm glad you showed up. Yeah. I got a question for you. Go for it. Can you keep rock bass? What do you think? Can you keep rock bass? Like smallmouth and oh, rock bass, like the little tiny ones? Keep as many as you want. Good, I just started to. I got about a million right here. Those are pretty big rock bass. Wow, those are. Dude, they're huge. I threw back two bigger. No, oh, I got a camera roll. Is that cool? You're fine. Okay. You're good. Yeah, you're good, man. So I've caught one of these before. Um, up further up. Yeah. They've really like up up by the the falls. Yep. Yeah. I caught my first one probably ten years ago by the falls. But look at this school, man. Are you familiar oh, with yeah. electronics? Oh, yeah. So this is That's actually, all I do now, pretty much. This is actually like 20 foot deep right here, yep. and they're stacked up to about 14. I love that. Crazy. I've caught it. I got um. There's crappy mix, man. They're all small. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting good ones. Yeah. Yeah. There's schools like that in here, though. It's unbelievable. Of crappie or rock bass? Both. Oh, oh, there... oh, more of crappie. I honestly, I might take it if you don't mind. Take sure. a couple pictures for the biologists. They know they're in here. Yeah. But, I think I had this. I think I let the state record go about an hour ago. Well, th these are I'd the one, biggest ones I've seen. I'd one way bigger than those. Really? Yeah, I had like two today. Well, there isn't a state record. Are, there, there, those that could be the state record, really, because there's no rock <laughs> bass anywhere it. else. So <laughs> let's do it. So they have to create a new category. If you want to catch them, man, grab one of them so, rocks. And yeah. Throw one right down this they, hole. Uh, boy, yeah, those are rock bass, dude. I know. I caught. I caught probably quite a few bigger. A buddy of mine eats a lot of bass. I don't eat bass. I got thinking, because he'll eat panfish too, and I was like, you know what? I bet he's never eaten a rock bass just because how rare they are in Maine. This yeah. is the only bottle of water I've ever seen him in. This is the same for me too, because um, I caught one this year, and mm -hmm. I'm like. Did it have bright red eyes? Yes. Open water? Yep. Yeah. So I, I was like, I know that's not a crappie, and I know it wasn't a sunfish. I'm thinking maybe a hybrid, and then uh, I showed the biologists, and. Uh, they're like, no, those are rock bass. So I guess their belief is that they came in from, um, they came in from, just get a measure. Sure, yeah. I got a scale too, if you want. I, I wish I kept the two bigger ones, but I honestly didn't know. Then I got thinking about it. I'm like, I, there isn't a state record like, right now for rock bass. Oh man, think. but I'm like, as far as keeping them, I didn't want to break the law, but I'm like, I'm thinking like, there's no way the state would be against it. Oh no, no, and I and I think they if they start going other places, they'll probably be more aggressive about. Hey, these are invasive. They explain that these are more aggressive even than. They're wicked aggressive. Yeah, even more aggressive than like crappie and stuff. Wicked, yeah. So <laughs> they catch them in um, the closest I've ever seen them to Maine was Lake Champlain. Yep. And and there's guys there that actually fish fish them and they can sell fish there. Yeah. They actually have full commercial markets on, on like Vermont, Champlain, that whole area. Yeah. So, um, they're not worth as much, the, the rock bass. But those are like a little bit big for even. That's the, that's big for. For yeah. even the Vermont strain. Yep. Like I said, I I just this year caught one out of here. So I had never even. But those are. Those are staving. I don't even know how old those would be. Those are several yeah, years old. Probably, I got to say they're probably eight or ten years old. Yep. Yeah. So that's the that's the crazy part about fisheries management is right like obviously they've been reproducing for 10 years yeah. so they could have been in here for 15 or 20. Like New I understand they're, like they're, they're thinking it came in from New Hampshire no and basically as a state law I mean crappie um crappie pike that's yellow true, perch yeah. white perch white perch there's only a couple ponds in the state that have a limit one yeah. of them is Sabattis and it's okay. a limit of 25. Jeez, that's a pretty good day. So, so, but there's people that I've seen fill buckets with them. Uh, and that was historically, I think now with competition from crappie and just the pressure it gets, they won't be guys with 25 of them out there. Yeah. But uh, I've seen some, there was a group of ducklings getting like following their mom <laughs> and I saw a fish come out and there was like seven <laughs> or eight of them. I was just watching them and it was just happenstance and at least two of them, but if the, up to four were gone afterwards. So. It, there was a there's just huge fish in here so they and, I've, be and I've bumped them in the spring too when they're kind of like cooling off after spawning in shallow areas and they're just monsters yeah like yeah. over 30. Uh, yeah there you go That's another one. you look like a crappy yeah maybe not yeah that's a rock bass should be i think God. oh i just caught a big pickerel Jeez, yeah, this might not around. be a might not be a rock bass. You running a light, light braid on that? Yeah, I got. Oh, it's a big one. There's a state record. Yeah. 
I, like I said, I don't think there is one. I love those jigs, too. Those are the best. Aren't they awesome? Yeah. Are those the tungsten ones? Oh, uh, yep. This yeah. is tungsten. It shows up really good, too. Let me see. Is that a little too small? Yeah. You guys want them out of here, right? Yeah. Thank you.